Goodwin's Monster Garage, and we found all these beautiful LS6 Chevelles. Can kind of peek over there. Got Rick, Rick Nelson talking about restoration on these cars, and uh, um, this one looks like uh, wasn't restored, but uh, certainly a cool survivor paint there. And then this uh, convertible here, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Just some super, super nice LS6 Chevelles down through here. Very, very nice. Gotta satisfy some of our Mopar fans that might watch Meldrum's Monster Garage. Although we concentrate mainly on Chevelles, we certainly appreciate cars from all different eras. And I, I think this car looks a lot like the same body lines as a Chevelle, a R Cuda. And the detail on this thing is just, oh, man, they put some bucks into this. Wow. Just beautiful, beautiful restorations here. Fine jobs. Cool. 1967 Chevrolet SS427. Beautiful detail in this motor compartment. Wow. Kind of feel like I'm looking at a Chevelle motor compartment, only a little bit bigger. And, uh... They, they got this car looking beautiful. Just gorgeous. Four speed car. And lo and behold, we got a 396 right next to it. So, a couple cool display here. It's just a cool paint job. Wow. And I'd love to see those wheels in action. You can see they've got some kind of swirly. But that looks cool going down the track. But uh, especially, you yeah. know. But uh, what a paint job on this uh, beautiful car. Wow. I gotta tell you, this is just a super impressive display of all these winged cars. And I think this is the second time they did this at the Muscle Car and Corvette National Show. But uh, very, very cool to see all these winged cars. It's starting to get crowded in here and hard to videotape. But uh, very, very neat. Kick out of this, though. In front of all these wings over America, <laughs> and we've got a beautiful '69 Chevelle, and uh, I just got a kick out of that because they like basically got a uh, crown jewel in the front of all these cars. <laughs> I don't know. Beautiful 1964 GTO. Many will say that this kind of started the muscle car era. And of course, it's got the uh, tri power in there, and the, uh, just love the exhaust tips down there. Just a neat, neat, neat car. Beautiful restoration. All right, so you Ford fans, I gotta throw in a few uh, Fords here for you. Boss 429s. And uh, it's kind of cool how they did this. And the 70 302 over here. And then the 70 429 over here. And then the 71 Mustang Boss 351. And then they jump kind of all the way up to the modern edition with this beautiful color of the 2013 Boss 302. Pretty cool display. 1993 Chevrolet Corvette. And the reason I'm videotaping this is kind of get a kick out of this. I'll never forget when I was working in aerospace at Crane Lear Romec that uh, the president of the company called me up to his office one morning and of course I had no idea what was going on really never had to talk to the president of the company for any reason but I went up there and he says close the door so I closed the door to this big office and uh, lo and behold hold uh, he, he wanted to show me pictures of his brand new 40th anniversary Corvette that his wife had bought him so uh, it was cool. I was a less, like a sign of relief. He knew I was into muscle cars, and uh, it was we had a fun little chat. And of course, after that, we were good buddies whenever we uh, talked to each other out at the manufacturing facility. So now we're on the other side of this display, so you can get an idea of what the nose looks like on these cars. They got little boo boos on them. Good morning and welcome to the Muscle Car and Florida Nationals Sunday edition. Like straight up the front here, you've got to check out the King Paul's Guda right inside the door. Make your way past the number three Amon's winner. Gorgeous Corvettes down through here. Oh, if 
I had the money, I'd probably come out and buy one of these, but I don't know. I think we'll stick to Chevelle's. Last night, Meldrum's Monster Garage had a little too much to drink, and I was talking to uh, our buddy Jeff, and he was trying to sell me a 1964 Chevrolet Corvette that he recently acquired. Uh, he has a sand-colored one, and I don't know if I need that car, but... Uh, it was certainly interesting to think about it and ponder it. But uh, as I sobered up and came to my senses this morning, that's probably not the car for me. I need a blue one or a red one, not a gold one. Here in the barn finds now, and this is supposedly a Yanko Nova. And we heard rumor that this thing sold for $400,000. Oh my God, people are just getting crazy these days. Now, over here is a beautiful 1965 Z16. Now, is this worth $400,000? Probably not. Interesting. Let's see if it's got the 160 mile an hour speedometer. I hope you can see it. Another favorite part of my show is all these muscle bikes. Just look at them. They got some really cool ones. And beautifully restored and, and nice originals. I'd say mostly nice originals. Here. And that beautiful 66 Schminster. I love it. Big shout out to all the guys that came up and said, hey, Mark, you're doing great on your uh, YouTube channel. Um, <laughs> stardom, wow. But uh, hey, I really would appreciate if you click like and subscribe. I'm at 850 or so viewers. And if I can hit that thousand mark, we've already got 4,000 viewer hours. We can uh, start to monetize this channel and that will help uh, as I'm retired, that will help bring a lot more uh, to the channel if we can invest in sound and cameras and uh, different things that we do. So like, subscribe. Thank you. Appreciate ya. Thanks for coming up and saying hello at the McCacken Show.